little pit in my stomach and I really don't want to lose today. I'm a little bit worried about the bumpy streets. Just not used to that in America. Everything's paved. It's not cobblestone. Yeah. Okay, Dave. Okay. You know the rules? Yep. Here's your camera. Here's your map. Good luck. Edge for Denmark. I get out there and stop and none of this jives, you know. And so then I was just trying to find any any street that made sense on the map. We lost already. I was pissing people off. I mean, there was people honking at me and yelling at me, you're going the wrong way. How do they know where I'm going? Dirty enough, dirty enough. I don't know. Never would happen in America. I'm not ready to leave Denmark yet. The loser was you. You have to head back for the U.S. First the thing that happens is my mat flies out of my hands when the wind. So right there, you know, that's not a good, good feeling at all. This is not going well for me and you know it just kind of shakes you like oh this is not as easy as I thought it was going to be just that, that feeling of not knowing where you're going and being timed and knowing how important it is to be going in the right direction and not even knowing if you know you're on track or not so I am worried about how I did that's why I'm crying I should be nervous but I, I'm just excited to be able to ride a bike around Copenhagen <laughs>
missing the chance of meeting his or her living Danish relatives. Amelia, 